Hi guys, Josh, TSX Travels, and today we're coming to you live from my garage, my messy garage, and uh, accompanying me today is my nine-year-old Great Dane, Abby. Say hi, Abby. Way to cooperate. Anyway, today we're going to be installing a new catalytic converter in my car. We're also going to be installing a new OEM third generation TL Type S rear sway bar to help out with those Idaho mountain roads. So for those of you who have been following my channel for a little bit, know that I've bought the car new. It had about five miles on it when I bought it. And during the course of ownership, this channel kind of started out of the necessity for longevity. Um, with the amount of miles that I drive, I can't afford to buy a new car every 100, 150,000 miles. It's just, I, I mean, I wish I could, but I just don't have that kind of money. So I needed to have this thing last as long as I can. So that's why it was decided early on to keep this thing stock, OEM. Um, I, I've kept up on all the, uh, the recommended maintenance. Um, replaced all OEM parts because I needed this thing to last as long as possible and the proof is in the pudding right now I'm at uh, 545,000 miles and uh, she's still going strong and no problems but during the course of ownership uh, the engine light has come on three times and only three times but each one of those three times was the same thing it was the catalytic converter and the last time it came on about five, maybe six, seven thousand miles ago. I don't remember exactly, but I figured, you know, we're over half a million miles. Third time's a charm. It's time to get a cat. So first thing I did, you know, wanting to support my local dealership, which I have a great uh, relationship with. Uh, they've been maintaining it basically its whole life on the road. And here we are. So how could I not love my uh, local dealership, right? So, first thing I did was went to the parts department and told them, wanted to get a cat, how much is it, how fast can one get here, and that's when they told me my cost, I have a wholesale account, my cost was over $900. And so you can imagine the audible groan of dismay that came from my wallet when they told me the dollar amount. Um, now again, I like to keep this thing as OE as possible, but I also know that there's a lot of um, good quality aftermarket performance uh, cats available for my car so put that on hold came home did some research and sure enough there's a whole slew of catalytic converters available for this car now I'm a collision guy I and I know there's aftermarket parts but I don't know the difference between quality of you know cats and suspension for aftermarket stuff it's you know again I'm, I'm collision I'm not mechanical um, so the natural next step was to reach out and contact these guys right here, Heel Toe Automotive. Now, a uh, quick history on Heel Toe. Um, when I first started checking out the Facebook pages and stuff for TSX groups, I was seeing a reoccurring theme. Everybody was talking about their parts, and these guys swap out their, their stuff all the time, aftermarket, you know, suspension, exhaust, and, and bumper kits, and all kinds of stuff. It's kind of crazy. But I kept seeing heel-toe, heel-toe, heel-toe over and over and over again, and it was always really positive stuff. And at the time, I was like, well, what the hell is heel-toe? So I looked into it and found out it was this company that specialized in, in uh, Honda and Acura parts you know, performance aftermarket stuff, and they were also able to get some uh, OEM stuff as well. well. Actually, pretty much anything, really. So I decided when I rolled 500,000 miles, I wanted to, you know, try them out, see what all the hype was about. And I decided on a, a, an interior wood grain OEM kit, which you can see there on the, the console. And then again, on all the door panels, it's, you know, just a, 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 an accessory kit to kind of upgrade the look of the interior, um, which I, I, I really like. So anyway, I, when I was first looking into it years ago, I was, you know, again, trying to support my dealership, but it was a discontinued uh, factory item and they could not get it. However, heel toe, not a problem. 
Um, I ordered it online. A week later, it was at my door, sealed in the OEM original box with the original instructions. Took an afternoon, cleaned up the car, installed it. Been happy ever since. So it was, like I said, a natural next step to reach out to Heeltoe for the cat because I know they specialize in, you know, Honda Acura parts, performance stuff. And so I called up Marcus, told him what I was looking for, and he gave me some options. He said, based on your preferences, this I've got this one right here, and I've got another one that's um, a little more, you know, horsepower, race y kind of thing. And, and I decided to go with the Magnaflow Direct Fit because it was, in my opinion, more close, to, it was closer to OEM than the other one. The other one sounded fine. It's just for me, this was what I decided to go with. So here's um, why I'm doing kind of a uh, uh, review of my dealings with heel toe is because for me, um, a guy that doesn't have a whole lot of time, um, when Marcus laid out my options, he saved me several hours easy of, of you know, looking online, researching um, which catalytic converter would best suit my needs. He handled that in like an hour or two versus me spending several evenings, you know, looking up online, um, trying to figure out w which way I should go. And that was as valuable to me as the part itself, making sure I got the right part, um, was that, that pool of knowledge that I was able to tap into uh, over at Heel2 Automotive. So, that being said, uh, I've dealt with them twice, Bought, bought from them twice. Both times were fantastic experiences. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give them a shout out for uh, great customer service, being able to get the parts that I need, and I'm getting them to me fast.
And there it is, guys. No dash lights from the new MagnaFlow Direct Fit Catalytic Converter. And a noticeable difference in the cornering with the TL Type S rear sway bar. You guys probably noticed that there was no actual install footage of the catalytic converter. And that was due to a uh, whoops-a-daisy by Chris at the shop. He didn't actually record it. So, you know, master technician, absolutely. Master videographer, yeah, not so much. But that being said, I want him and everyone else to know that I really appreciate his work. I appreciate him taking the time to set up the tripod and camera and film himself doing this stuff. Because frankly, if it wasn't for his willingness to do that, while I wasn't even around, we wouldn't have these type of videos to watch. So shout out to Chris Downs at Lyle Pearson Acura in Boise. And uh, also to you guys for stopping by and checking it out. Thanks again. See you on the next one.